Hello friends, welcome to our educational channel, Sign Shaga by Shagun. In today's video, we are going to talk about a very important concept of physics which is heat transfer in nature. So let's proceed. What is heat? Heat is a form of energy that makes things feel hot. When heat is added to an object, its temperature rises up. Heat always travels from hotter objects to the colder ones. Hot and cold. We feel objects as hot or cold because of the heat energy inside them. Measuring heat temperature. Temperature tells us how hot or cold something is. It is the measure of the average speed of the particles in a substance. The faster the particles will move, the higher the temperature will be. We use the device called a thermometer to measure the temperature. Using a thermometer, if you measure the temperature, that process is called as thermometry. We use thermometers to measure the temperature. Different thermometers. There are two types. What are those two types? Clinical thermometer and laboratory thermometer. A basic difference. Clinical thermometer are used to measure the body temperature. But on the contrary, laboratory thermometer are used for experiment in the lab. Another difference can be clinical thermometer have the range between 35 degrees Celsius to 42 degrees Celsius. But laboratory thermometer have the range from minus 10 degrees Celsius to 110 degrees Celsius. Clinical thermometer have a kink, but laboratory thermometer do not have a kink. This is the clinical thermometer and this is the display of that, digital display. How a thermometer works? How we can use a thermometer? Mercury, a metallic element, or colored liquid in the thermometer expands and rises when it is heated. Obviously, it will expand and rise to show the temperature. Temperature scales. There are three types. What are those three types? Celsius, the symbol for that is a small dot and capital C. Fahrenheit, a small dot, same and then capital F. Kelvin scale, there is no dot, only K, a capital K. Body temperature, the range of the, is it 35 degrees Celsius or 98.6 degree Fahrenheit. Both are same, but we have converted it into Fahrenheit. Ways heat moves, there are three types of ways. These are conduction, convection and radiation. First one is conduction. Heat passes through solid objects by touch. Like a metal spoon getting hot in hot water. So this is the hot water and we have a metal spoon which is a good conductor of heat. It will pass heat. So when we will touch, uh, it is in the hot water and when we will touch the upper part of that, we will also feel hot. Why? Because the heat will transfer as it is a good conductor of heat. Conductors and insulator. You might be wondering what are these? Conductors let the heat to pass through. But on the other hand, insulators block the heat. They do not let the heat to pass through. For example of conductors are metals like copper etc. Insulators, wood, plastic etc. Convection. Process number 2. Heat moves in liquids and gases. All the fluids means liquids and gases. Not only liquids. When warm parts rise and cool parts sink like warm air in warm air rising so the warm uh, warm parts are lighter so they will move up and cooler ones they are heavier so they will sink down this process is called as convection current radiation 
radiation. Radiation heat travels through empty space, vacant space without a medium. Radiation do not require any medium. Solids, liquid, gas, no medium is required for that. Like sun's heat reaching earth. So this is the sun and the earth. So how there is no medium in the space. So how the heat is reaching towards us. Through the process of radiation the heat is reaching towards us. Why clothes keep us warm or cold? So, dark clothes absorb more heat. Usually in winters, dark clothes, they will absorb more amount of heat compared to the light clothes. Light clothes reflect back the heat. They will not let the heat to come inside us and keep us cool during summers. For example, if you will wear, if you will wear light clothes in summers, we will feel cool and chill. But if we will wear dark clothes in summers it will absorb more heat and we will feel warm why houses painted in white in the places like just like our body we require light clothes in winters so that's the reason white paint reflects the sunlight they will not let the house to be warm it will be the house will be cool and chill Why are cooking pots or the utensils made up of metals? The reason behind that is metals are the good conductors. They will let the heat. So they so the, the they heat food quickly and evenly. So the food will be cooked properly. Why use wooden or plastic handles? As wooden and plastic are the good insulators. Hence, they will do not conduct heat as well, obviously. So, handles will cool to touch. We will be safe if we will touch that as it, it will be stay cool as wood and plastic are the insulators. Effects of heat on materials. Heat can cause things to expand, melt or change the state like ice melting into water form. For example, do you know solids also expand when they are heated up and occupy more amount of space? That is the reason why constructing railway tracks or bridges, gap is left in the middle. So when they will expand, this is the reason. Keeping warm in winter. Wood, wood traps air. Air is a good, good insulator means a poor conductor to keep our body heat inside us and warm as insulators block the heat so we will feel warm and comfortable. Now let's recap what we have learned in today's video. So these are the concept, explanation and the explained concept example. Heat and heat is a form of energy. It travels from hotter objects to the colder ones. Example, feeling warmth for the fire. Conduction. Heat through direct contact. We learned about the metal spoon, hot water activity. They will conduct heat transfer method. Convection. Heat by movement in fluids. Fluids, the gases and water means the liquids. Warm air rising. The warm air is lighter. It will rise up. The cool is heavier so it will sink. This process is called as convection current. Radiation. Heat across space. Radiation requires no medium. Solid, liquid, gas, no medium is required. Sunlight, uh, sunlight heating the earth. There is no medium. Conductors. Conductors let the heat to, let the heat to pass through. For example, metals and insulators are totally opposite from that. They will block the heat. They will not let them pass through. I hope you like my today's video. In the next upcoming video, we are going to talk about basics of electric current. Till then, take care and bye-bye.